Okay, so you might be wondering where we're headed right now. Well, after nearly 100 episodes of Game Theory, one of the things I've always wanted to do is take gamers off of our couches and actually put us through the extreme situations that we have to play through in our games. Like, say for instance, what would happen if gamers like you or me had to execute a real life hostage rescue situation like you do in games such as Rainbow Six Siege? Well, that's what we're on our way to find out today. Get ready, loyal theorists, for a new show I like to call Reality Check. We're here in Gardena, California at International Tactical Training Seminars. The challenge, learn what it takes to become an official counter-terrorist operator and then put those newfound skills to the test by planning and executing a simulated hostage situation. Should be an incredible day. But before I get suited up, let's get you caught up with everything you need to know about the history of Rainbow Six. When the Rainbow Six series first debuted for the PC back in 1998, it was the pioneer of a new form of FPS, the tactical shooter. Unlike many of the big name FPS games of today, the Rainbow Six series has generally emphasized stealth, strategy, and teamwork rather than run and gun action. You aren't Rambo or a super soldier charging into the line of fire. You're a normal human, a counter-terrorist operative giving directions to and cooperating with your team. Sure, you may be equipped with heavy duty armor, but you're no bullet sponge with regenerating health. One or two well placed shots will easily take down either you or one of your squad mates. And as a result, Rainbow Six games have always rewarded players for taking their time, checking their next move by leaning out from behind cover, and thoroughly sweeping rooms. It's a lot like a game of chess, but with real lives at stake. Well, real virtual lives. You get what I'm saying. Rainbow Six Siege, the latest installment, puts you in both the shoes of the attackers and the defenders. If you're attacking, you're using drones to spy on the tactics of your opponents and strategizing with your teammates on a plan of attack. If you're the defenders, you're fortifying the surroundings, walls, doors, windows, all to change the house into an impenetrable stronghold. And adding to the challenge is the destructible environment. Not only are you dealing with halls, stairwells, and balconies, but now the most well-planned for fortifications can be ruined with a well-placed breach through a floor or a wall. And finally, what we're most interested in today, the CTU operators. Each team member specializes in playing a different role, offering their own unique skill set to the team. There's still strategy and team play, but now you're cycling through the different types of squad mates, each with their own strengths. Finding the right balance across members of your team and using those skills effectively is what's going to spell victory at the end of the day. So as you can see, Rainbow Six isn't just about some super soldier running in, guns blazing. It's tactical, team-based. You're working together with your fellow operators to execute a well-coordinated plan, which means I'm gonna need some help. Luckily, my backup should be arriving at any minute. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, good to see you, Mari. Oh, oh my God. Hey. Thanks hey. for joining me tonight. This was, uh, Sam. It was a bit dodgy, but yeah. No, oh, do, what, do I not get the bro hug? Oh, oh here, here we go. <laughs> Boom! Great. Fantastic. Oh. All right. Breaking good through. to see you too, Joven. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I know. I am not prepared to get shot. Like, at first, I'm like, yes, I would love to work with Matt Pat. <laughs> Doing what? Yeah. What did we sign up for? Right. Seriously, how bad right, I know. <laughs> well, So you guys are the gamers, yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm Uncle Scotty. Uncle, Uncle Scotty. Scotty. I was with LAPD SWAT for 10 years, and I was on uh, LAPD for 30 years. I have 25 years on the LAPD. I had 14 years in SWAT. I would now work the bomb squad. 22 years in David Platoon SWAT. So bottom line is this. What you do in terms of gaming in front of the screen is entirely different. You're going to find out you have a lot of physical fatigue. You're going to be sweating. You're going to be nervous, you're going to be shaking. In Rainbow Six, there are actually four different classes of characters, right? You have your assault man, you have your point man who is equipped with his shield, you have the breacher, and then you have your support character, things like that. Judging by the way that you're laughing, <laughs> this doesn't seem to be a realistic scenario. First of all, you need a lot more people. Uh, and everybody's pretty much cross-trained in most units. Because if, if I go in and somebody goes down, I had to be able to come up and support that. Mm -hmm. uh, in like Rainbow Six, they use like thermite just to go through doors. Is that, is that stuff you guys use? You use a thermite grenade, you're gonna burn the structure down. 
Uh, so if you go in and you cook something off and the guy's got a brand new, you know, 100% nylon couch and that thing goes up in flames and now you're involved in an inferno as well. So that's going to work yeah. against you. But thermite is, it's fine for, what do you call that? The control the controller. thing? <laughs> the, the controller thing. What about sledgehammers? Because that, like seeing that in the game, I'm like, would counter-terrorist units actually carry around sledgehammers to break down doors? Or are you using battering rams? Or are you just kicking them in? Well, kicking in a door that's a steel door that's reinforced probably won't work well. Sure. If you're Arnold, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll have a sledgehammer, and it might be on initial entry, but if it doesn't work, we're just tossing it off to the sides. How dangerous are these actual situations that you guys have to deal with? Well, everything you've ever worked for can be taken away from you by one press of a trigger on a bad guy. It's where if you make a mistake, you die. We're, we're not, like, using, you know, real ammo, right? Only some of it. Oh, right. what? <laughs> it, it's a paint marker. It actually comes out. It's soap. It's colored soap, so you'll know when you're hit. So it's yeah. actually nice sandalwood, I believe. Ooh, oh, sandalwood. Okay. Hey, it's manly. I'm more of a lavender man myself. <laughs> you guys are going to lose your sense of humor about three seconds into the episode. <laughs> I know. I know. No, it's going to go south. Bad. It's going to go south. We, we laugh because it's a defense be crying, mechanism. Right? No, I know. I feel badly for you. I hope you guys all have depends on. Okay. All right, so that being said, let's uh, learn some tactics. All right, let's do it. Quick, quick, quick status check. Which one of us have ever fired a gun? Uh, and, uh, like an actual gun. Okay. okay so, these, so, so these are real weapons. Sure, this is an actual Glock, but it has a modified upper slide and the barrel are simmed out. The only portion that comes out, and you can see expanded casings on the deck, is this little tiny pink capsule to the front. These, these holes in the wood here were made by pellets, airsoft pellets, which are softer than what we'll be, hit, be getting hit by today. Huh. So, oh, uh, wonderful. Oh. At any time. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. We have no, I don't even know how to hold this thing. Well, Charlie's Angels, okay, let's try it again. Are we the good guys or the bad guys? You're the good guys. We're going to be the bad guys. Okay. We're not going to be all that bad either. Trust me, I will not have to throw very much at you to cause you guys to go sideways. Scotty's covering me, and I'm going to hit this door. It went right through. Wow. That looked easy. OK, you don't get the barrier open. We don't get in. Hostage doesn't get saved. Is it ever viable to be like, or is it? No. Absolutely. I want you to try it right now. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead. OK, so what you just That's saw in the movies doesn't work. There you go. End of question. So you're going to stand here, and you're going to swing. You want to try and attack the attachment points on the door. Oh, it's heavy. Thousands of lives are at stake. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, it's the suspects might die of old age, so. You son of a breach! Oh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. I hit it so hard. I spent my money on you. Again, one more. Oh. Right there, right there. There we go. Yes! Very good. Here we go. Next time, thermite grenade. For the queen. Nice hit. All right! So now that we are officially trained counter terrorist operatives, right, guys? Oh, trained. Now it's time to suit up and take down the actual professionals who do this for a living. So, yeah. oh, we've got Wish a chance, us luck. guys. <laughs> Off to the lockers. We're doomed. <laughs> You're gonna get slaughtered. All right, guys, here's the mission. We're going in there, we got three rooms to clear, it's 5v5, and we have one hostage to rescue. Kells, breach. Yes. Me, point, right? Hide behind the shield. You guys assault behind me. Fan out. Yeah. Fan out, support both corners, mm -hmm. and then you rounding out the, the back. I wouldn't worry too much about counting shells so this No. <laughs> We're not Archer. <laughs> They're coming, guys! He's coming! Freeze, guys! Let's get him! Let's get him!
happening right now. There's so much happening. So intense. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Come on, Paul. I can't see. This is so intense. I'll blow her brains out. The wait, starting to get to me. Get too. down, get down, get down. Okay. You don't want none of this. Oh, yeah. so intense. Okay. Stop it. Yeah, you don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. Where's my money? I want my money. Wait, where's it at? You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. I'll blow her brains out. I'll blow her brains out. I will blow her brains out. I will blow her brains out. You better back up. Oh, God. All right. Out. Come on. Well, we died. Woo. All right. Oh, wow. So, that happened. Okay, battle that, scars. We're that happened. Yeah, right? We're you never were getting you yelled at, man. I, that was scary. I, uh, hey, uh, my, my shield worked. Oh, yeah, you got a couple of hits. Right? I, wow. That's the only reason I Me think and I was Marty, able we to match. survive. Yeah, we got, we got matching shots in here. <laughs> good shot in the face. Oh, in the face. face. Right in the face. The first one yeah, like, did. did. I, Link, like, I literally just did this. To like and, just and see where done. to go, yeah. And in that moment, <laughs> you I done. got shot in the face, oh. headshot. And like I was like, all right, I'm support. Pain on yeah. Your chin. You know, because we hesitated to go in. Yeah, yeah. yeah like they were just yeah. able that's to pick us problem. off one at a time. Right. The shield is a real pain to work with. It, it, it is. It's very hard. Really hard. To Unwieldy. Work with. It's yeah. it's heavy. It's difficult to aim with it. You're operating around it the whole time. Your visibility is limited. I I watched you from the time you opened the door or breached the door. I saw, yeah, and I saw him and I was like, you guys gotta come back. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, well, first of all, yeah, in the middle of a crisis situation, like nodding your head, nobody's gonna know what that means. Right. That's why you train so much because we have certain procedures and protocols that we follow so that stuff like that never happens. I was in the last room where the uh, hostage was. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody, could you hear the dialogue going on with mm -hmm. them? Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean for the team to do? That's the, that's the priority, like get to the hostage. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go, that's right. You have to get there to rescue. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to try this again? Yes. 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 I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll set up a little bit different problem. Probably gonna be all right. Listen to me. Grinding your set. Easy on the trick. Like this. Press, press, press. Not bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Press, press, try to get the sights on. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes. Go! Breach! Go. Take him. Okay, right. Go, right, 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 hold, 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 right. Move, get over here. Oh, he's down, he's down. We got two more, go. In, take a look, clear. Clear, he's down. He's down, get over here. I mean, I mean now. Get over here. Get back up, get back up. Move. Low ready, move, move, move. Look. He's down. Go, 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 go! Watch your muzzle. Well done. All right. But as soon as we had some instruction on what we were supposed to do and where we were supposed to go, it just went a million times better. I mean, you know, it felt good to be a bad guy for a few minutes. Like, hey, I, I like my friends and all. But, uh, you know, I shot Matt Pat today. And today's a good day. When you do the video games, it's a flat screen. Mm -hmm. It's 360, 360. Yeah. Imagine yourself standing in the center of a giant sphere. I don't think I'll ever look at an FPS game the same way. Being in there is nothing like playing a game. Like, you know what I was most scared of is like the seconds before when the first gunshot goes off and like you're like, we have to move now. I have mad respect for the tactical force guys. Good job guys, congratulations, congratulations. Let's recap the day point by point. 
First, a huge thank you to Uncle Scotty and his team. The work that they do, no video game can truly replicate that level of pressure and that level of intensity that they're going through. And that's a good thing, because that means the video game stays fun and you're able to enjoy it on the comfort of your couch, but you know, you're also not putting your life at risk. So for the report card to compare both real life and the video game, first we have the breacher role. And yes, we do use sledgehammers in real life to breach through doors. That is a legitimate technique that these professionals use. Second, a more personal role for me, the point man. That shield is heavy and it is exhausting. It does make it harder to shoot and maneuver throughout this high pressure situation, but it does protect you. So in actuality, Rainbow Six Siege, well done there. Accurately representing the point man. Thirdly, one of the things that the game demonstrates really well is the importance of strategy. In Rainbow Six Siege, you're mapping out the area ahead of time and coming up with your team with a strategy of attack. That's critically important in real life scenarios. Fourth, the importance of communication. Sure, in the game, you're talking over headsets and you can't really do that in real life, but you're communicating through hand signs, through gestures, through touches. In both situations, real life and the game, communication has to be clear, concise, and to the point. Great. Go, take them. So yes, when it comes to a lot of the details, Rainbow Six and real life do differ. But when it comes to the overarching themes of communication, teamwork, and urgency, that is where the reality truly checks out. Hey guys, thanks for checking out Reality Check. Speaking of checking things out, if you wanna check out the new trailer for Rainbow Six Siege, click right over here or make sure you click the link in the description to pre-order so that way you can get guaranteed access to the beta. And if you'll excuse me, I need uh, to clean off some of this pink paint. And I'm tired, because this is really hard. So click here, click there, and I'm clicking out. <laughs>